Hi right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website link in the description box, Mind Body Spirit Fitness. Put in the healing back in health. Once again, also follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. The podcast is out there. Those links are in the description box as well. It's all true results. 303, no E in that true. Coming at you today with the four basic principles of gaining and losing weight. Okay, so I just heard uh, just heard of this guy, Doctor Jade Teta, T E T A. I guess he's a you know a very prominent figure in the fitness world, and you know personal trainer, doctor, done all that stuff. So uh, I was listening to a talk with him, and they talked about these four principles. So I want to share them with you, and once again, it's using them in the correct way, and knowing when to use them, right? Because the body's always changing. That's that big concept out there now of like muscle confusion where you need to change up your routine. And I've said it before, if your routine's getting results though, you don't want to change it. But of course we need to understand when we are not seeing results, we do need to make a change. And this is going to be strictly exercise and nutrition. And it's very simple. The first one they talk about, we all know, you eat you eat less and you exercise more, right? Exercise more and eat less. That's usually what a lot of people do at the beginning to lose weight. They eat less and they exercise more, which is okay, but we just want to make sure as well we are not losing muscle, which can be very difficult. But once again, this is going to work, but like anything else in life, it doesn't work forever. So the big one, of course, we all know when wanting to gain weight, which is the exact same thing you were doing before, you decided to exercise more and eat less. It would be eat more and exercise less. And this could be something maybe you want to do during, you know, you're just feeling burned out, wore out from exercise. You don't have that passion or that motivation. This is where you would just take a week off from the gym, two weeks, whatever it is. Some people will say a month and just increase your calorie intake. Eat a little bit more. Help your body recover. Give it the nutrients that it needs to repair itself because sometimes we've just been going way too hard and not eating enough. Okay? Then the next one would be eat less, exercise less. And this would be something where you're still not going to be exercising. Maybe you're just going for walks, your normal work day, and you're just not going to eat as much. Right? So it's another way of maybe this would be that intermittent fasting type stuff. Okay, so now you're once again, you're letting your body recuperate, you're relaxing, um, and you're just not eating. You're being conscious of what you are doing um, in the kitchen, calorie wise. And then the last one is going to be exercise more and eat more. This is athletes, right? We all know, even with Phelps, they said when he was training in the Olympics, you know, he was swimming eight hours a day, crushing like nine, ten thousand calories. Of course, if you're moving that much, your body needs that much food. Um, so, once again, with these four simple tips, these four strategies of eating and exercise, it's a way to use them what works best for you. If you're someone that can only get to the gym maybe Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, those are going to be the days you're going to exercise more and eat more. The other days, you might just be walking, so you're going to exercise less and eat less. And once again, it's just figuring out a way to cycle all these things and what works best for you and the lifestyle that you're at. Because unfortunately, in today's world, things are going to change and that could be a good thing when you have busy weeks and weeks that are not as busy. So once again, there you go. It's eat less, exercise more, eat more, exercise less, eat less, exercise less, eat more, exercise more. So once again, please try those. Uh, definitely, like I said, I am just the beginning of your research. So the gentleman's name was Dr. J. Teta, T-E-T-A. Go ahead, scope him out see what's going on there. If not, of course, look through my channel. I've got more nutritional advice, more exercise advice, spirituality, motivational advice, all that stuff there if you search the channel. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, the podcast. It's all True Results 303. That information is in the description box. Once again, please subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.